Have you done it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Dan is building the baby a tough tray, which was your birthday present from Auntie Sophie and Uncle Gary. And it's pretty straightforward, actually. Yes, well, it's, a... it's supposed to be. <laughs> no, it's a... Do, do, do. The uh, birthday guitar present is still going strong. Look at her legs. <laughs> DJ B. DJ B. Watch your fingers. Ah, he's always the last one to <laughs> Probably because it's at a dodgy angle. No, it's because it's two again. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, you've got to do both sides. Yeah, yeah. Is that right now? And then I guess. And just plonks on top. Tough tree. That doesn't look right though. That's it. Look at that, babe. Are you tall enough? Huh? What's your change, Andre? What's the matter? You finished? Right. Baby is asleep, so I'm being quiet. And a fake tan, so I can't touch anything. <laughs> I'm gonna, like rest my elbows, but I can't. Um, so when we went to the farm the other day, um, I had a side salad with my burger, and I gave Dot all the cherry tomatoes because I don't like tomatoes, and she was loving it, and it had this dressing on it. And I gave her a bit of cucumber because she's a bit of cucumber. She's not that big a fan of it, but it had dressing on it. It had like a whole grain mustard dressing on it. And then yesterday when I was at work, one of my customers said, oh, I've made the most amazing salad dressing. It's three, two, one dressing. I was like, what's that? She said it's three tablespoons, well, three teaspoons, tablespoons, whatever. Three balsamic vinegar, two whole grain mustard, and one maple syrup. And guess what? I've got everything. So I'm gonna give it a go. Three balsamic vinegar. One, two, three. Dot really likes vinegary things, so this should work. I recently threw away my um, jar of whole grain mustard that was in the fridge, but it's six years old. All right, so I'm guessing it's level. Pen. Mm. Let's see that's level. Mm. One. I thought you had to have oil and dressing, by the way, but apparently not. All right, two. Three balsamic, two mustard, and then, is this open? No. One maple syrup. There we go. It should be very nice. There should be oil in it. Am I wrong? I've got a cucumber in the fridge, you see, and I wanted to eat it. It's a bit tangy there. I might just put a tiny bit more of this in. Tiny. Woo! It shot over the cup, don't worry. Okay, that's like another half teaspoon. No salt and pepper. No oil. And normally, don't you put something like 
acidic in there like lemon juice. It's still making me go funny there. Hmm. I mean, I like it. It's quite sharp, but I imagine when it's, you know, on your salad, it's quite nice. <sighs> Hello. It's uh, a cloudy but warm uh, Sunday in where are we Halifax, Shibden Park. And we've been here before, actually. I don't know if I've vlogged it, actually, but. Um, <clears throat> It's a lovely place, but like loads of stuff for the kids to do. There's uh, boating, which my mates are doing right now because Dot's asleep, which I'm, to be honest, I'm quite happy about. It means I don't have to get in a boat with a one year old. <laughs> I don't have life jackets. Yeah, she slept until half past nine this morning. I had to go and wake her up um, for her breakfast. And then she's asleep again now. She's been asleep for about an hour. Teething. She's got a fan coming. Yeah, there's a lovely cafe. Just had a nice uh, bacon, bream, cranberry panini, which is lovely. Gorgeous coffee. And um, there's like a little fun fair with spinning teacups, but I don't. I think I don't think she's quite there yet. Uh, there's obviously boats. There's a big park, loads of swings and slides and stuff. There's a lovely, great big walk up to the actual hall, which is where Gentleman Jack. It's based on. Oh god, what's her name? I've totally forgotten her name. There's a great big sign as you're coming in. Gentleman Jack, BBC One programme. But this is where she really lived. Um, and her house is up there. It's really nice. Uh, our main attraction for me was this, I don't know if you can see behind me, there's like a little railway track going along. Um, and we can take Dot on that. That would be really nice if we... Uh, get chance. I don't know if she's going to wake up in time. But, you know, I'm letting the adults have their fun, so I think it's only fair we get the baby on uh, on a ride as well. So, I'm quite happy just sat here watching him, to be honest. I'd have been very stressed out in the boat, I think. I'm scared of dropping her in. <laughs>
another day another set of fresh lashes feeling so good honestly they were clinging on for dear life we only had about four left and somebody actually said to me the other day oh your lashes look nice have you just had them done i was like are you joking i normally have about 900 more than this anyway i've um been moaning for about gonna say about three or four weeks about how crap my pillow is on my bed i have two um they're a million years old i normally like quite thin pillows because kind of roll them up and scrunch them under me but it's just not been working out for me and i've been waking up with a bad neck so i went and got some new pillows from dunelm i went round and i squidged every single pillow and then i bought some hand sanitizer <laughs> dorma full forever pillows really boring subject but i imagine most of you are that watch me are in your 30s and you know sleep's a very valuable thing especially to mothers so there were two I couldn't buy one i've got two for 18 pounds they feel nice um i don't know if i need two of these on my bed though dan might have to have one but my other ones are just i think i've only ever bought four pillows in my entire life two were from ikea and they're about four quid each and then the other two were memory foam ones from primark and they were nine quid each but other than that i've inherited pillows from my mother so you can imagine how old it's probably pillows that are older than me in this house <laughs> um so anyway that is a nice satisfying full pillow i'm hoping i'm gonna have to let you know tomorrow aren't i once i've slept on them they're probably not going to be right they never are are they i've got band practice tonight not sure what we're doing I've got a gig again in a couple of weeks we had a really good gig and i never put any clips in actually so i'll do that now i'll put some clips in from the last gig that we did and surely get a copyright claim again <laughs> was awesome really really awesome actually um it was chucking it down with rain but it really didn't matter we had a great time so our next gig um in a couple of weeks is at the same venue it's outside and outside of a theater in a courtyard um so looking forward to that but uh, i think we're going to try and do a couple more new songs we've done loads of new songs in lockdown and we're going to try and do some more so 
yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, you saw the clip last week. We did um, Queen, Don't Stop Me Now. And I think that's going to be really good, actually. I think it's going to sound awesome. Um, but yeah, we've got a couple more we'd like to be able to do, but I don't think we're going to get them finished in time. What's wrong with that babe? She has been teething. Oh my God. She just sleeping in. I had to wake her up yesterday at half past nine. She fell asleep at seven o'clock at night. I had to wake her up at half past nine. Teeth are absolutely killing her. Right, I better go and see to her anyway. Um, we had a really disappointing lunch. Actually, yours was really nice, wasn't it? It was all right. Went to Morrison's cafe. He had a pizza and it looked, well, it looked like something from Domino's or Pizza Hut, didn't it? No, we're on Pizza Hut. It looked really nice anyway. Um, and what did Beep have? Macaroni, cheese and garlic bread. She loved the garlic bread. Are you eating her dinner? I tasted it, yeah. And I had full English and it was rubbish. <laughs> My egg was cooked all the way through. The beans were cold. And the bacon was basically raw. Oh, and I forgot the size of the orders. So. And they give you a tomato. And I asked for no tomato. They gave me a tomato, yeah. Anyway, we went to like say it. we were going to go to Sainsbury's for breakfast because we love going to Sainsbury's for breakfast, but they're still not serving food yet. But it doesn't matter because I got the shoes that I wanted. Well, they're not shoes. They're like really platformy flip-flops, but they're dead comfy. I might have to get another pair, to be honest, because I think I'm going to wear them to death. They're only £6, but really we went because I want to get these for Beeb. Are these not the cutest shoes you've ever seen? Little dotty dogs. So we're gonna match. We're gonna match in shoes. Oh, look. Jabs at the doctors. What? Yeah, three o'clock today. I've been. Yeah, I know you haven't been. <laughs> yeah, you got out of that one, didn't you, Beeb? You were supposed to go get your jabs today. Shit. Yeah. I was out. I was passing doctors at three o'clock and all. Well, <sighs> you know. Yeah. Whoopsie. What happens now? Sophie's taking on Tuesday. What have you got there, Dorothy? Is that your tough tray? Look at your snotty nose. So bad hay fever. Look at you. Are you looking at that cat? Has he gone inside? Hi. You're not going to let go? No. Are you joking, Mum? You look like the uh, the fairy, fairy liquid baby. Don't you? You look like the fairy liquid baby. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. Look at you. <laughs> Very liquid, baby. Is that so good? Are you going to come to me? Come on. Come and walk to me. Come on. Come and have a walk. No? No. I'm just thinking about it. Is it nice outside? Is it nice outside in the garden? <laughs> well, Mummy has had a hair done yesterday and she's not sure how she feels about it. <laughs> Are you doing a silly? <laughs> Clap, clap. You're cheating, you're leaning on it. <laughs> you're leaning on it with your belly. 
Yeah, look at you stamping. I want you to walk all the way around. That was my uh, that was my plan. You've shifted a little bit. You're coming towards me a bit, aren't you? Oh, sorry. <coughs> yeah, I had my hair done yesterday, and you can't really see, and it's very dark. But it's my fault. It's, I picked the colour. Yeah, it did. <laughs> He's not funny. <laughs> <coughs> she has not had any bottles. Oh my god. Oops. There we go. She's not had any milk bottles at all. You've had milk, but you've not had any bottles, have you? No. And you've not had a dummy. She has she has a, a bedtime and nap time. But you've not had any daytime dummies, have you? Uh, no, you did. When was it? Is it Sunday? Careful. Uh, you might have on Monday. Uh, Who's that? Hello? Uh, You're fine. Uh, you've got to learn to catch yourself. Because uh, I'm not always going to be there to get you. Uh, <laughs> um, you had it on... Sunday, didn't you? Because you were teething quite badly on Sunday. Uh, yeah. Or was it Monday? I can't remember. She had a really bad day with teething anyway. Uh, and you've done okay uh, since, haven't you? Are you going to let me wipe your snotty nose? Or are you going to go mental? Uh, Why don't children like having their nose uh, wiped? Uh, Oh, can you hear the ice cream, Bam? That means we've run out. We need to put some stuff in this, don't we? We'll have to do it on... Um... Well, unless somebody else does it with you on Saturday. Because you've got nursery tomorrow. And they do all sorts with you at nursery. And then... Friday we're going to Alton Towers. Saturday Mummy's at work. So it's Sunday, it's meant to be really gorgeous weather for the rest of the week now. So we'll put the gazebo up so you're in the shade. And you can play in this, can't you? We can put some water in it or we could put some foam in it. All sorts, we can do all sorts. Can't we? Because you're just the right height for it, cats. <laughs> she's laughing because she's seen the cat. I know. Yeah. Meow. What does the cat say? That's doggy. Oof, oof, oof. What does the cat say? Meow. You do it. Meow. Meow. Yeah. Come on then, one hand. She wants me to walk her and I'm not doing it. I'm a dribble. Can you see all that dribble down here? It's making your skin go red. Apparently, yeah, like, that's why they're... Can you just shush a minute? <laughs> that's why their bums get really sore when they're teething because their saliva is extra, like, acidic. It's really enzyme -y when they're teething, so the bums, the bums get sore. And that's why all of her um, chests are going red from dribble. It's so much better you're not having a dummy in. Listen to you. You just won't shut up, will you? You won't shut up. Oh. I'm glad you're coughing all that up. <coughs> You had a bad night's sleep, didn't you? Because you were coughing. <coughs> yeah. Kiss. Where's mummy's nose? Where's my nose? Where's my nose? Yes! Where's your nose? Where's Dottie's nose? Where's Dottie's nose? Ah. Not mine, don't you? Beep. Ah. Where's my ear? Ah. Where's my ear? Ah. Where's mummy's ear? Ah. Yeah! <laughs> You're 
so clever. Where's Mummy's mouth? Where's Mummy's mouth? <laughs> Where's Mummy's eyes? Where's Mummy's eyes? No, that's my nose. We haven't done eyes yet, to be fair. I was just trying it on to see if it was a fluke. You're so clever. Yeah. <laughs> you stood up. She stood up. Oh my God, she just stood up on her own. She wasn't leaning. You uh, did. I saw you. Dutty. You stood up. You stood up. She stood up on her own then. You stood up. Yeah, you got yourself. You're so clever. Dan, she's standing up on her own here. You're so clever. Do it again. Uh, Come on. I know you're so clever. Yay. She's totally she stood up clapping on her own then. <laughs> Dutty, where's my nose? Where's my nose? Where's my nose? Ah, yeah! Clap, clap, clap! Yay! Clap, clap, clap! Where's my ear? Yay! <laughs> where's my mouth? Where's my mouth? Yay! Woohoo! You're so clever. Uh, clap, clap, clap. She's holding one handed now, okay? Clap, clap, clap. Can you filming it Yeah. Oh, you've distracted now. <laughs> Is that your daddy? Did you see? Like, yeah. she's, she's leaning. Yes, yeah, so big. So big. Hmm? She's done a laptop. No, she's right. moved a little. So clever. Yeah. She's probably sat up in the pram all day. Come on then. Come here. Come to mummy. Come to mummy. <laughs> Come here. You can do it. You can do it. Come here. You can hold on. <laughs> with me. <laughs> Come on. Come here. Come here. You can do it. It's not far. It's hard. Come on. Come to mama.